we are going to discuss about er modal let us take an example of flip cart so what is the main functionality of the flip cart so main functionality of the flip cart is to sell items simple that's it okay to sell items first we have to find out what at all entities are there so total what entities are there so which tables we have to create after we decide which tables we have to create then we can go to decomposing the bigger tables into smaller tables first we have to decide what at all items will be there so that is called er model okay after er model after we decide what at all tables will be there then we can come to normalization how to normalize the tables all those things so let us take an example so what at all flip card contains flip card contains all the items so this items may consist of mobiles electronic accessories some other kitchen items all those things okay so it contains all these things now suppose if i say i have all these items now what i can do on these items so there will be some people who create accounts on flipkart accounts on flipkart so i have some people some people table i have some items table so i should have some relationship between people and items so what people are doing with these items so people are buying these items or cancelling these items all those things so i will be having a relation some kind of this okay so by relation so whenever somebody asks me to design some tables first what we will do we will check what at all tables we have to design first so first we will design all the tables and after designing all the tables we will check whether it is in second normal form whether it is in third normal form all those things okay that we have studied already now so now what we have to do is first we have to first decide what tables we can design first what tables we have to design so that we have to discuss okay so er model is nothing it is a representation of some model suppose somebody has given me a project okay so what I, he says yes i have some items i have some people so they will these people will buy these items that's what he will say that's it so now what, what my work is to represent all this into a diagrammatic approach represent all this into a diagrammatic approach and i will again show it sir whatever you have shown is this is this correct so er model is nothing it is same so er model is a representation of the model okay so just write down what is an er model so this is very small chapter i'll try to complete in one and one or one and a half hour okay so model it is an it is a representation of reality so representation of reality okay so er model is it is a data model in which it is a data model in which information so we have seen what is a database what is an information information in the database in the database so we have some information in the database in the database is viewed as viewed as set of entities and set of relationship among entities among 
entities. So, it gives pictorial representation it gives a pictorial representation of the domain knowledge. So, it is a data model in which information in the DB is used as set of entities and set of relationships among entity. So, that is called ER model. So, it gives an whatever domain knowledge I have, it gives an pictorial representation of the domain knowledge. That is it. So, what I said? I said ER model is a set of entities and it is set of relationships between entities. Correct? So, set of entities and set of relationships between entity. First, we have to see what is an entity. Okay? Then we will see what is the relationship between an entity. So, first entity. What is an entity? It is an real world thing or object with independent existence. Okay? Examples are university student course so it is a real world thing in which we can define so there are two types of entities so one is strong entity and another one is weak entity Okay, the strong entity is the thing, strong entity means it has its own key and does not depend on anyone, doesn't depend on anyone for the key. I will give some examples. Okay. Strong entity is some, it has its own key and does not depend on any one. Okay. So, weak entity is, it does not have key. It does not have key and it depends upon, depends on strong entity. I will take some examples. Okay, before that you check that ER model is nothing but it is an existence of real world which containing of containing entities, entity is a real world thing and relationships among entities. So, we have taken a flip cut example and I have shown the example. Okay, so first we, so what I said ER model is is a model in which we can view a model as entities, set of entities and relationships between entities. Okay. So, we have seen what are strong entities and weak entities. Now, we will see this entity. So, you can assume entity is a table. Okay. This entity will be having multiple attributes. So, attributes is shown as eclipse. Okay. And entity is shown as rectangle. Okay. So, we will see multiple types of attributes and then we will go for relations and cardinality. Okay. Types of attributes. First one is simple attribute. So, simple attribute is something like this. I have shown you what is an entity. Entity is a real world object, right? So, entity is a real world object. It is like a branch. 
So entity is a real world object which consists of attributes. An entity consists of attributes. So this branch can have branch name, branch ID, some supervisor kind of thing. Okay? So these are called attributes. These are called attributes. So ER model is the model in which information can be stored as entities and relationships among entities. So entities, we have seen strong entity and uh, weak entity. Okay? So strong entity is which it is having its own key and weak entity is the thing which it depends upon the strong entity. Okay? So now I have multiple attributes. So you can assume branch is a table and these are columns of this table. Okay? So this is simple attribute. So these are very simple attributes in which an entity can have some attributes. So second is composite attribute. An attribute, composite attribute is an attribute that can be divided further. Like if you take something, okay, if you take an entity of student, so this student will be having student ID, he will be having student name, and he will be having student address. Okay, he will be having address, right? So, these attributes, these attributes, you carefully observe these attributes. This attribute can have multiple attributes now. So, this attribute itself is having multiple attributes again. So, this is called a composite attribute. So, this address will be having street, this will be having house number, this will be having some location. So this is called composite attribute. Okay? So these are the two kinds of attributes. Next kind of attribute. So first we have seen simple attribute and composite attribute. Next, single valid attribute. So each and everything has some notation. Strong entity has some notation. Weak entity has some notation. Uh, simple attribute has some uh, notation. Composite attribute has some notation. So sing we will see all the notations. Single valued attribute and multi valued attribute. Okay. Single valued attribute is which is having single values like example age I will be having only one age gender so I may be male or female only one gender and I will be having only one role number so that is unique so that is called single valued attributes Multi-valued attributes are an attributes that can be having multiple values. So, an attributes that are having multiple values are called multi-valued attributes. So, one example is phone number. I can have multiple phone numbers too. I can have multiple degrees like B.Tech and M.Tech. Okay. So, so, these are called single-valued attribute and multi-valued attributes. So, multi-valued attributes are shown as double circle. So, I can show multi-valued attributes are as double circle. Okay. Next, stored attribute and derived attribute. Stored attribute and derived attribute. Okay. Let us take an example. 
assume I have a date of birth. Okay? So, if I give you date of birth, automatically age can be generated from the date of birth, right? So, you can subtract from current date to the date of birth date so that you can get the age. So, this is called a derived attribute. So, I have derived an age, derived attribute. I have derived an age from a stored attribute. So, this is stored. Database, uh, date of birth is always stored. So, from which I can derive something is called store attribute. Okay? So, derived attribute I can derive from stored attribute. Okay? So, from some attributes which I can derive something is called stored attribute. Okay? So, derived attribute is, so derived attribute is shown as dotted eclipse. So, derived attribute is shown as dotted eclipse. Okay, that is it. Now, so we have seen what is an entity and now we have seen what are the attributes so, we have seen entity and we have seen attributes for an entity and uh, next, what is an ER model? ER model is nothing but an relationships between entities. So, we will see what are the kind of relationships possible and then we will see the cardinality and all the features. Okay? <coughs>